So, so far, we've created this variable x and this variable y. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to create a data set that has uh, 20 subjects, 10 uh, male, 10 female, and their heights in centimeters. Okay, so um, first let's get the, uh, um, we'll call this one uh, subjects. And how we're going to create the subjects is, let me come down to the console here and I'll show you the paste function. Now if we paste s and 1, then we get s and a space and 1. Okay, if I come back over to the help file here and say, what, why is there a space in there? I can find the paste function and I'll see here, it says paste what you're going to paste. You list those things. And here, sorry, here it says one or more R objects. Okay. And then um, it says uh, sep. Sep is the character string to separate the terms. And what this is telling you right here is that the default is a space. So where this one, if I run it, it uh, gives me S1, uh, S and a, uh, a space. If I put here sep equals and then put the, the quote marks, but this time have nothing inside of them. This is the, the default. But if I remove that, then uh, another way you can do run is uh, control enter or command enter on the keyboard. And now you'll see I got S1 with no space in them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a, uh, I want to basically stick all of these S's together and then all of these numbers 1 to 20 to create a list of the names of the subjects. Okay, and this is how I'm going to do it. Now I'll just show you what I did here so it doesn't get confusing. I have the paste command, and the first thing I'm pasting is this. I'm repeating S 20 times, and then I'm repeating the numbers 1 to 20, and I'm separating them with nothing. And uh, when I do that, I'm going to get the, here we go, here's, the, here's what I got. Subjects is S1, S2, S3, S4, okay. Another way I could do that, though, is because I already made the X and the Y, I could do subjects equals paste X, Y, sep, e, whoops, sep, e, oh, sep equals that, okay. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Got to put Y first, and then X. I got 1S, 2S, and all those things. Let's try this one more time. There. And by the way, I'm making some mistakes here, but um, I kind of want to show you that if you write your script up here, then you can make mistakes and you can get rid of things you don't need anymore without... Um, having to keep typing them all in. You, you can just sort of make those corrections uh, one by one. I'm going to get rid of this X and Y because I don't need those. Okay, that's how I made it. And then I'll show you one more command, which is the RM command. You can use that to remove things, uh, variables from your list. So now my X and Y are gone. Okay, so now um, I've made my list of subject names, S1, S2, S3. And then I want to, um, down here, the next line here, I'm going to make a list of the genders. So I want uh, 10 times repeat the word male and 10 times repeat the word female. And then this command C, with parentheses on it, is combine. So C combines the male and the female ones together. So for example, if I just um, highlight this and just run that, you can see down here, male, 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 female, female, and so on. And I'm going to run it with the genders. Now I've made a genders list. Okay. Now I have 10 heights of men, 10 heights of women. So I'll call that uh, men and then women. And then I'll use the C command to combine this one and this one and make heights. Okay. And there's my heights. And then to make the data set, I'm going to use this command. The command is data frame. And what you do for data frame is you list the names of the, the headings you want. So I want to have subject, and that's going to be the list of subjects. Gender is going to be the list of genders. Height is going to be the list of heights. And I'll call my data set 
my data. Okay, not very imaginative. And now you see over here, I have these values, but then I now have my data. If I click on this, I can actually look at it. Here's what it looks like. I got the subject, the gender, and the height. Okay, and there's 20, 20 subjects. Okay, that's one another good thing about using R Studio. In regular R, you only have this. You can't see your data, so that can sometimes be frustrating. Okay, and then let's just do a simple t-test with this. Um, I'm going to use the command t-test. Um, again, if you uh, you can always search in the help file for these things to see uh, how they work. Okay, and there's a few different ways to put it in. Like I'm going to use uh, this way right here, which is using a formula. And a formula in R is using this little squiggly mark. What it means is this is your output variable, your outcome, and then this is your predictor variable. So height as predicted by gender, and the data is my data. Okay, and if you remember, here was the height variable, and I want it to be predicted by gender. So I want to see if males versus females have different height. And uh, I'll use the t-test with it. And I run it, and then down here in the console, you can see here's the t-test I ran, here's the results. And uh, there's my t-value, degrees of freedom, and here's my p-value, uh, 0 0.002. So that looks like a difference. Here's the uh, mean of the females and the mean of the males. Okay, so basically that's how to do simple uh, statistics in here. Now just before I go here, um, uh, R also has some data sets built in. Um, one of them is called uh, mtcars. And if I use the head command, head, I can see the first six lines of empty cars. It looks like this. Okay, names of cars, and then miles per gallon, uh, how many cylinders, the weight of the car, and tons, and so on. Okay, um, if I use the command tail, I can see the last six lines. And I can also make plots, I can make graphs. For example, I'm going to use the plot and I'm going to basically make a plot of miles per gallon as predicted by weight. And I'm getting these names from here. This is MPG, and here's the weight. And the data is going to be uh, M MT cars. Okay? And you'll see that over here in the plot section down here, it plotted. Here's the miles per gallon, here's the weight, and here's the dots showing the data. Okay?